Ciao, this is Barbara Mangini from Comida's Kitchen, a godmother's kitchen. And this morning we're going to make one of my favorite vegetable dishes, zucchini patties. So let's begin. These are the ingredients we'll be using. Salt and pepper and just a little garlic salt, just a tablespoon of chopped parsley. These eggs are small. Normally I would use three, but I'm going to use four just a fourth of a cup of diced onion, one zucchini shredded this size, and I've already shredded it for you. And if it's big, just cut it down to something that looks like that size. And just a tablespoon of grated Parmesan cheese and some flour. That's all we need. So let's begin. I'm going to take four eggs. Papa Mangini is my videotographer. He's going to move in so that you can see what I'm doing here. I'm going to prep four eggs. When I was a kid, zucchini was in everybody's garden. And you know, they even had contests who could grow the biggest zucchini. But the truth of the matter is that it is the mediums and small zucchinis that have the most taste. But they use zucchini in everything, patties and baked parmesan, and they would stew it with scrambled eggs in it. Okay, now I've, I've whisked these eggs. I'm going to pour them into the big bowl. Give them another little whisk here. And now I'm going to add some flour. So I'm gonna do this in increments of fourth cups. There's one cup. We want to get like a batter going here. And that all, that's all it takes. No milk, no baking powder, baking soda, just eggs and flour. Okay, I want it a little thicker than that. Can you see that? There's the thickness that we want. Now it's starting to thicken almost like a pancake batter. And I gotta check my oil over here, turn it down a little. Because I'm heating my oil. Okay, so that was really just a half a cup of flour. Now I'm going to throw in the zucchini. And I just did this on a regular grater, like a cheese grater. I'm going to take a spatula, or it'll get stuck in the whisk, and just stir this around. It's looking good already. It's such a beautiful yellow color. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're going to add the spices. Well, let's add the onion first. Okay, we've got the onion in there and we've got the parsley in there. And now I'm simply going to stir those in. I like this dish because you don't have to use a mixer or anything. One bowl does it all. Okay, it's time to put the grated cheese. We'll mix that. And now just a touch of garlic salt. If you don't like it, leave it out. Some pepper and some salt. If you can't eat salt, you can leave that out too. This is pretty much however you want to make it. Some people even add diced green peppers. Some people add shredded carrots to it. But my mother had five children, a lot of us to feed. And this was an easy side dish. Okay, and now I have I have my, uh, I'm going to take this little cup and that's how I'm going to drop it into the oil. Here we go. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I love vegetables and zucchini is so healthy. Zucchini was actually brought here by the immigrants and I'm sure that's why it was one of their favorite dishes. It was brought in the 1920s. 
Now this this oil is hot. I'm using a little bit of vegetable oil. Normally I would use uh, olive oil. Look how fast that brown. Can you see that? You want to come over here and take a shot of this cooking? Hurt myself. Okay. We're gonna let this brown. This is this is the advantage of having a nice hot oil. If not, it's gonna soak into the batter and you don't want that. You want as less grease as possible. So let's just wait a minute and then we'll flip these again. And in the meantime, I'm going to show you how to make a dish that is a wonderful substitution for an antipasta or just an appetizer. And it looks so pretty on a dish. So let me get these ready. Oh, they're coming very close. You want them nice and crunchy on the outside, and you want the batter definitely cooked on the inside, almost like a pancake. Don't be afraid to let them get a little brown. That's why you want them. In the meantime, I'm going to get out tomato. I have some sliced tomatoes here. There we go. And I have some sliced mozzarella cheese, the kind that you buy in a box. Whoops, I'm stuck on the door. <laughs> okay, here's the mozzarella. Let me watch my zucchini patties here. I don't want them to burn. Turn this oil up just a little bit now. They cook really fast. They're so pretty. They're so pretty on a plate. Golden. All right, and I have some Sweet basil that I picked for my own garden. Another thing that I just absolutely love. So here's our sweet basil. Okay. Now because we want to get as much oil as possible off of these, I use a spatula that has slots in it so that the oil can drip through when I take them out. I'm just going to turn these one more time. I like them really golden. I like that center cooked. And I'm going to put them on a plate with a paper towel. Normally I would use olive oil. Today I used a little bit of vegetable oil because olive oil can get really hot and when you heat olive oil it does change the taste. Okay, they should be finished. Here we go. Oh, I love to cook. Everything about my life is cooking. I grew up 12 aunts and uncles on my mother's side, eight aunts and uncles on my dad's side, and food was always the centerpiece. And all of my relatives who taught me to cook are here with me. Aren't those beautiful? Now let me show you what to do with them. Normally, if we had more time, I would let those cool more, but it's okay. I want to show you how I would plate these for company. All right, I'm going to put a zucchini patty, and then I'm going to put a piece of the cheese, and then I'm going to put a tomato. And on the tomato, I am going to drizzle just a little bit of extra virgin light olive oil. That's the best kind. I always pour it in the cap because you need very little olive oil. Very little. And over that, I'm going to put a little salt. It'll taste like a tomato salad. A little salt and pepper on that tomato. And then I'm going to start again with a zucchini patty a slice of tomato, and I sliced these pretty thick. 
and a slice of mozzarella cheese. Again, I'm going to put a little olive oil on that tomato. Turn my oil off here before it catches on fire. We don't need that in the video. Okay, there you go. And then another piece of mozzarella cheese. And then here I will put my final zucchini patty. Now zucchini patties aren't something that will sit there all day and then be good. There's something that needs to be served hot. And they are hot, okay. They need to be served hot. Now I'm going to put a little more olive oil and salt and pepper on that tomato. There we go. I'm gonna take my sweet basil. Oh my gosh, I love the smell of sweet basil and it's so easy to grow. You don't even need a garden. You can buy a little, at our, our grocery store, we can just buy sprigs of it if we want. I'm just gonna arrange that real pretty on the plate. Now, who wouldn't love that for an appetizer or an antipasta? And look how easy that was to make. And all you need is one small to medium zucchini. One of the most inexpensive dishes you can make for summer and one of the most nutritious. So other than frying the zucchini, everything is low fat. So I hope you enjoyed that today. Of course, I have to taste it. So let me get a fork. My mouth water every time I make these and I can see my mother standing there in the kitchen in her apron. I hope you like my apron. My friend Kathy bought it for me. I have an apron collection. Oh my gosh, they're crunchy on the outside and just cooked enough on the inside. And I can taste that Italian parsley. Mm. That's it. So, tune in again for Comida Cucina. Ciao.